Okay, back with the Metro Busa. Uh, I got that diff uh, from Wisconsin uh, sandblasted. Lots and lots of sandblasting. Got it all super clean. And everything looks super good. Painted it. Looks awesome. And then, uh, as you can see, threw it in the car, got the whole rear end completely finished. Everything's hooked up, e-brake, brake lines, everything's good to go in the rear. Uh, then I started on moving the master cylinder power booster to the opposite side of the car because it didn't fit, the motor was in the way. I had to kind of beef up the firewall a little and then uh, kind of made the plate so it's basically exactly the same as the other side. It's kicked out like an inch and a, I don't know, quarter or roughly an inch in it, uh, yeah, about an inch. Uh, and it's exactly the same height and the same line as the factory position on the opposite side. And you can see I welded up the uh, drive shaft tunnel. It, uh, yeah. And then I had to beef up where the steering, or I cut all the unibody out for where the steering was. I was afraid the car would not be able to be structurally sound. Uh, and then I ran up to town and bought this super cheap piece of brass. Not really. It's very expensive. To machine some bushings for the linkage I'm making to run the brake pedal from one side of the car to the other. Making this linkage to move the master cylinder and power boost to the opposite side of the car has been a tremendous amount of work. A lot more than I was anticipating. I uh, decided to drill through both the the tube that the factory pedals on and then three quarter rod and I tapped the bolt holes and uh, I decided on three bolts figured that was enough to do a power stomp on the brakes not anything you know break off see the holder and bushing that I, I made and uh, these are the pieces for the opposite side drill this giant hole through that lever so I can weld it to that piece of machine and slide over the shaft to actuate the master cylinder on the opposite side. That's just tacked. I did a super weld after that. Alright, now we're getting into the master cylinder. That's the Suzuki Hayabusa factory master cylinder. I kind of milled down the handle a little and drilled a hole through it. Welded up some links of chain and kind of drilled a hole in the actual you know, clutch lever. And it seems to work pretty stinking good. I welded up that mount pretty tough there. And it doesn't flex at all. And the brakes work flawlessly. Okay, viewing audience. I am pumped. A little wiring. Get the motor in to get it running. Oh my gosh, finally. Thanks for watching. 